it is completely possible to make $100,000. So in this video, we are going to break it down for you step by step so that you can accomplish this goal. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And for those of you watching, you may already earn $100,000 per year. The $100,000 per year that I'm talking about is the one where you net $100,000 per year doing something that you really enjoy, like a business. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we want to talk specifically about a business is because I know for myself, in my career as an engineer, I earned $100,000. But that was $100,000 gross that... I wasn't able to bring home. Mm -hmm. I had to pay taxes. I had to pay expenses mm -hmm. and, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So what I was able to bring home wasn't quite the $100,000 that I was thinking. True. So we have to understand, first of all, the difference between gross $100,000 and net $100,000. Exactly. So let's break that down really quick so that we're all on the same page. When we say gross, exactly to Darius's point, that's the amount of money that the company that he worked for said that they would pay him. What we didn't take into consideration was taxes, our home expenses, and any other expense that came through the door. And then what we were left with was a lot less than a hundred thousand dollars let's just say that yeah yeah a lot less than a hundred thousand dollars now the reason why we bring this up is because it's really important for us to be be specific about what we want yeah because we can say we can uh earn a hundred thousand dollars this year and we can go and win the lottery and have a hundred thousand yeah, dollars yeah but after taxes you're left with a lot less so in our plan to create this nice round number of a hundred thousand dollars annually we have to be specific about what we want. Mm -hmm. Do we want to gross $100,000? Do we want to net $100,000? Do we want to earn $8,333 <laughs> per month? Or do we just want it in one big $100,000 check? Yeah. However it comes, I think that the plan today is, again, just making sure that you understand what this entails, how we go about this, because we know that everyone on the Honor channel who subscribes wants to achieve some level of financial freedom. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be different for everyone. $100,000 in New York or LA may not be uh, cutting it. $100,000 in South Carolina, where Darius is from, may be fit in the bill. So we just have to take into consideration inflation, geography, and all the other expenses that you uh, inquire. Or, or, or take in every single month and then, you know, do the numbers to figure out what that what that means for you. Right. So why don't we get started with a breakdown? Yeah, let's do it. So one hundred thousand dollars over 12 months is eight thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars and thirty three cents monthly. Yeah. Quarterly is about twenty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars on a weekly basis is about uh, a little over nineteen hundred dollars, correct. And on a daily basis, it's two hundred and seventy-four dollars and some change. Right? Yeah. Let's round to two seventy-five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we think about what type of product or service we want to offer to get this one hundred thousand dollars, we have to think about how do we want to fulfill what what what's the fulfillment going to be, mm -hmm. um, so that we can attach our plan to that mm -hmm. because without a plan you just have a goal of a hundred thousand dollars it means nothing yeah. uh, a lot of people um have goals to be financially free mm -hmm. a lot of people have goals to be um debt free mm -hmm. but what we have to do is set a plan for that mm -hmm. and the plan is to first of all start with a a number that you can reach for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So when I, I want to make sure that we, we capture all of those nuggets that you just shared with us, because when we think about a hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> people get overwhelmed with that with that amount of money. They think about, oh my God, what can I sell? What do I have a value? What can I do to re reach that number? Which is why Darius broke down how much it's going to cost you on a quarterly, monthly, and a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So that's why we want to make sure that you're just focusing day to day. You know, what can I do day to day to start making this amount of money? So we said two hundred and seventy five dollars a day, seven days a week. That's what you need to strive for. That's what you need to commit to in order for, for you to have this business that's going to sell products and services for you so you can reach that goal. So break that down even further. If you know that every single day you need to make $275, are you selling something one time? For two hundred seventy-five dollars, are you selling you know two products that add up to to one seventy-five? Are you selling ten products that will then add up to two seventy-five? What can you fulfill on? Mm -hmm. So the fulfillment is the biggest thing that I feel like we never really took into consideration with building our businesses. Is what can we realistically fulfill on? And that means if we're selling something, you know, something one time every single day, are you going to burn out? <laughs> is this something consistent that you can do? So you need to have an honest conversation with yourself and figure out, I would say, what is the most passive thing that you can do where you can build something maybe 
one time spend uh, you know a month two months three months whatever it is building this thing and then let it run autopilot mm -hmm. so in the digital world that we live in we totally feel like this is very possible especially with YouTube and Instagram and all this the social media platforms out there so when we think about okay what what can I sell I want you to think about the knowledge that you possess what is the one thing that people continue to ask you hey Darius can you help me with this Hey Darius, what do you think about this? What is the one thing that people continue to ask you the same thing about? Yeah. And then maybe people don't ask you anything. What is something that you're good at? Maybe you're good at investing in the stock market. So that means you need to have a little money up front so that you can hit it big. Let's say you have $10,000, you invest your money in the stock market, and then 12 months later, you have $100,000. Mm -hmm. You're amazing at investing in the stock market. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's your thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're, you're good at uh, doing something else. Maybe you're good at um, marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a ton of people out there that has businesses that need services as far as marketing. Maybe you're good at so, that. Yeah, taking pictures, taking whatever pictures, it is. Whatever it is. Yeah. So with that, what we're saying, what we're trying to give you, we're trying to give you ideas. So if you are a photographer, if you're a good marketer, if you're a good cook, you know, what are the things in today's day that you can package and resell over and over again? Mm -hmm. So let's say you're a good cook, you know, let, let's, let's just run with this. If you're a good cook and someone continues to ask you for your lasagna recipe or your spaghetti recipe or your juicing recipe, can you create a digital book that is filled with all of your most popular recipes and sell it? Mm -hmm. You can totally sell that for $10. Yeah, right. There's absolutely. a ton of value in that. Um, if you are a marketer, can you put down like the top 10 steps that you need to do to be great on Instagram? Can you package that in a nice PDF that's visually appealing that you could then sell and repackage time and time again? Do you see what we're getting at here? Well, we're not talking about going out and trying to flip cars or flipping houses because that's going to take some time for you to figure out and, and, um, work through the, those kinks. Yeah. What we're saying is monetize the knowledge that you are currently sitting on. Absolutely. Now, the really important thing we also want you to get from this is the fact that if $100,000 is overwhelming, then drill it down to or melt it down to a number that's more realistic for you. And then if $27 is more realistic for you to create a product around 27 bucks, then start there yeah. because you have an entire year in this plan to get to $100,000. You mm -hmm. don't have to do it overnight. Mm -hmm. So start where it's something that you're comfortable with, a number that you're comfortable with, mm -hmm. and then start working from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other thing, I don't know if you all caught this, but we're not telling you to go out and buy a ton of inventory. No. Right. We're not telling you to go spend money. We're just saying take a few moments and package something together on your computer that the next person will find valuable or, you know, package something that you currently have on in your house that the next person will find valuable. A lot of times what I feel when people get started in business is they get out of business loan, they go get twenty thousand, fifty thousand dollars in a business loan. And now they're sitting on debt that they can't move or they buy a ton of inventory that they're not sure that they can even push or move, mm -hmm. right? That That's where a lot of business owners get stuck is they, they invest in these businesses. I know we did this with network marketing. We invested in a ton of capital and then we couldn't move, or excuse me, we, had, we invested in a ton of product and we couldn't move it because we weren't really in the game. You know what right. I'm saying? So be honest with yourself. That's why I'm saying we really need to figure out our knowledge. Our knowledge is up here. So how can we transfer that onto a piece of paper, a digital piece of paper, and sell that online so that we can uh, reach as many people as possible? Yeah, everything that we have was created by someone. Mm -hmm. Every single thing, this camera, the laptop, this table, yeah. you know, my my watch, mm -hmm. everything was created by someone. someone. Mm -hmm. So they had the same, you know, 24 hours in a day. They had the same <laughs> five fingers and two hands. They had the same brain. Uh, they just use the tools that they had around them differently. Yeah. So we all have the ability in us. We all have... have uh, the, the wherewithal to create it, mm -hmm. we just have to actually do it. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing for us to understand when it comes to uh, generating income is it's a result of what we create. It's a result of the actions that we take. It's a result of the products that we create. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that we, again, drill this thing down to something that we personally can understand. Yes. Maybe you can, you understand how to do something for a thousand dollars. That means you only have to do that a, 
a, a few more times to get to one hundred thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. So drill it down to something that we're comfortable with. Yeah, and to to bring some perspective to this from our personal journey, right? So our business, we are life insurance agents, and we had no idea that there were millions of people in the world that need information when it comes to life insurance. And if you're looking for information about whole life insurance, and click the link below. We would love you to join the Wealth Nation. I, you like how I set that up. Um, so, anyways, what, what I what I really mean by that, genuinely saying is we had no idea that if we just shared information, free information about life insurance, that people would then come back to us and ask more questions and want policies Mm -hmm. or want to move forward or want us to help them figure out how to maximize their efforts when it comes to life insurance. Mm -hmm. And all it took was us putting free information out there. And next thing you know, we have a profitable business because we're able to share the knowledge that we possess. Yeah. It started with something that we liked and then somebody asked us about it. So we figured we might as well start telling people about it. Yeah, exactly. And and YouTube, a free platform, is what allowed us to spread the knowledge. So the next thing that you may be saying is, hey, Carmen and Darius, how am I going to um, you know, get my name out there? So again, there are so many free opportunities that you can maximize you know, with the, the platforms that we have. So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you know, TikTok, whatever it is, mm-hmm. start understanding those platforms. There's all sorts of courses and tutorials and free information out there that you can get a handle on all of these platforms so you know how to set yourself up appropriately. Yeah. And the same thing when it comes to $100,000, don't worry about getting your name out there. Worry about what you can do in every single day to move the needle forward just a little. Mm -hmm. Because that's really important because if you don't have that foundation, then you can't get to the next step anyway if you haven't completed step one. Mm. So make sure you do um, what's what's important in the the first day, mm-hmm. and then move on to the second day, the third day, because getting your name out there is you know can be overwhelming. So don't worry about it. Worry about what you can do today. That the ego can get in the way, right? You know, my name and branding and business cards and my website and all sorts of stuff. You don't need any of that. I can't tell you how much money Darius and I actually made without needing a website. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it's enthralling how much we focus on the things that just really don't matter. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, one other thing that I want to address with you is uh, Darius said, what are you doing every single day to move the needle forward? Let's talk about that because when we started our business, I know the biggest thing was is every day you may not see that money rolling in how you expected it to, to happen, but you need to make sure that every day you are doing a revenue generating activity. RGAs is super important. Revenue generating activity, meaning what are you doing to get a sale? What are you doing to get closer to a sale? And don't be discouraged if you don't see the sales rolling in immediately. Mm -hmm. Like you said earlier, it's all about we all have the same 24 hours in a day. What are you doing every single day? What routine are you creating to make sure you're setting yourself up for success? Because it's going to take time. It's going to take time to build this. Let's be realistic. It's not going to start tomorrow, but what are you doing? You're building a foundation of a revenue generating business that's going to start cash flowing for you, but it's just gonna take some time in order for this to happen. Absolutely. So for example, Carmen and I have a routine. We wake up in the morning, we exercise, we get our baby ready, we hang out for a little while, and then we come to work. And the way we come to work is we have a tool called Asana in which we put all of the things that need to happen in that day to move the needle forward. We get as many of those things done as we possibly can. And at the end of the day, if we can knock off at least four of those things, then we've had a successful day. That's how you move the needle forward, where you have a plan and you have tasks associated with helping you get towards those specific uh, milestones Mm -hmm. that connect to your ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned Asana because for us, that's how we organize our thoughts and our plans and our goals. Uh, It's a free tool that you can use, totally not sponsored. It's just something that we we value. Um, So with with that being in mind, you know, revenue generating activities, are you making the right relationships? Are you setting up the products that you need? Do you have the materials that you need? Do you have the graphic designers? Do you have the video editors? Do you have whatever it is set up so that you can continue to make sure that this snowball is moving forward? That's what we want to hone in on this is uh, the other thing that I feel is, you know, people just set it up to make it unrealistic where mm-hmm. all of a sudden you're just going to be, uh, you know, a thousand air, a hundred thousand air <laughs> overnight and you didn't do anything in, in order for that to happen. The the difference, the difference maker that's going to um, set you up is what you do daily. The difference maker <laughs> that's going to set you up is what you do 
daily. Not what do you do sometimes, what, what do you do quarterly, what do you do every single day that's going to move you closer and closer towards that goal. Yes, and 100%, you do not need to overwhelm yourself with websites and no. marketing and things of that nature mm -hmm. until after you earn your first $100,000. When you, <laughs> after you earn your first $100,000, that's when you need to think about hiring someone or outsourcing so that you can, you know, earn, add another zero to it and add a million dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So really the most important thing is to take the little bite that you can swallow right now and actually move forward on that. Mm -hmm. Move forward on a twenty-seven dollar product. Mm -hmm. Move forward on a two hundred and seventy-five dollar product. Mm -hmm. Move forward on a one thousand dollar product that that you can offer. Mm -hmm. Don't set the goal for a hundred thousand dollars, but then have milestones that help you uh, get there and tasks associated with each one of those milestones. Absolutely. So bite-sized chunks. You cannot eat an elephant all at once. You can only do it one bite at a time. So right now, I want you to start writing down ideas as far as what is it that you can sell a value. For those price points that Darius just mentioned and don't underestimate your value like we said who is asking you the same or who uh, what are the questions that you get all the time you know Darius how do you do this Carmen how do you do this look at this check this out those are things that people value so if one person values that from you then there's gonna be millions of other people that value the same thing they just haven't found you yet so you need to make sure that you create a product that is then gonna be searchable online for people to find you for you to become discoverable and that for them to be able to break bread with you because now you're exchanging value. Mm -hmm. Value. Value is, is very important. Mm -hmm. Money is a byproduct of value that you add. <laughs> I love that. And you're always going to be paid based off of your value. So do not underestimate your value because that's going to determine, you know, if you hit that $100,000 or if you hit that million, $10 million mark. The most important thing we want you to get from this video is the fact that you need to create a business. A business will be what allows you to create $100,000 annually without having to ask anyone for permission. Mm -hmm. Now, passive income is another important thing to your business because once you you do it then the money just starts coming in or it continues to come in without you having to work for it every single time. Yes, we don't want you to go out and create a business that's full of active income where you are trading your time for money. Mm -hmm. We want you to create, like we said, that product that you can sell online that's going to allow you to have infinite amount of, in, of income that's coming into you because you're not capping yourself. So the foundation that we just laid with you today is sharing, you know, what can you do to get started today so that you can scale to a hundred thousand to a million and beyond. Right. And a very important component to that is passive income. And if you want different ideas on how to generate passive income, then check out our next video where we give you passive income ideas. And make sure you click on the freebie below where you can learn 52 ways to flip money for infinite banking. Remember to own your own lifestyle or someone else will.